Most people in America are familiar with what their rights are and aren't under the law. And yet we have a handful of young people coming up through our educational systems with the parenting they've got, thinking that their opinions outweigh the law. A person's opinion about something does not, motherfucker, outweigh the law. There are things that are private information by the nature of what they are, and there are things that is public information by far. But here's the deal. When it comes to the individual citizen of America, that individual citizen chooses what is public and chooses their preferences about what is private. And what you, motherfucker, are gossiping about on the job has just put you into sexual harassment charges from our company. You have communicated that you inappropriately touched someone when they were sleeping. You have communicated, and other people have too, that you drugged their food and put your hands on someone in your foolish mood. What you're telling me is that someone in my company, in my organization, tied that man's beard in a knot. What you're telling me is that someone shaved his genitalia in an immoral hatred of rights. And for that alone, our entire state might be sued. Not to mention what could happen to the abuse on the political marketplace of what will happen when the fallout from this comes. And there is no way that you have any right to try to threaten that little man that you abused. You fucked yourself. You fucked yourself, and I've been telling you this for weeks, that your bitch-ass dyke lesbian attitudes about people like him with precious problems is not your fucking business. And your shitbag friends and you put your hands on someone that totally violated the rules of your fucking job. But your attitude is the men are going to protect me. And let me tell you, honey, they're not. And most likely what's going to happen is one of those bastards of our company in the police force is going to come to this house and shoot you dead in the yard. Because in truth, it is completely 100% your fault that that man has now been physically assaulted, sexually assaulted, and abused and raped. And it is completely your job not to allow that. But your arrogance and attitude about what it is and isn't right and your mentality about what you think God produces in your life doesn't have anything to fucking do with his life. And he was not placed in this position to be improperly cared for by your job description of your life. You see, your job description is I can do this to him. That's not your job description underneath the laws or the rules of the state or the governances of the codes that protect inmates. So you motherfucker fucked yourself, fucked your company, fucked your business, fucked your employment, and fucked our state. 